As Angie mentioned, we have coffee hour after the service, and we have some wonderful cookies in there today, but we also were surprised to see that somebody brought some extra biscuits. So uh, be sure to enjoy those. We thank you. I think Ray Ellis had something to do with that. So thank you for our extra special coffee hour today. Of course, Veterans Day was yesterday, and we want to be sure to recognize those who have served in our armed forces and are currently serving. So those of you who have been in the military or are currently serving, will you please stand and let us thank you for your service? Where are you? Wow. family for being here today. <laughs> Weren't they wonderful? Yeah. I've been thinking about that skit for about two or three years and glad we finally got it, got it up there. We heard about the all typecasting. We heard about the pecan pies and Christmas trees and uh, by the way help those youth with their Christmas trees. Those are the freshest trees you'll ever. One year I helped them, this was a couple of years ago, I helped them unload from the truck and when we opened up the truck, there was still snow on these trees. It's a, I'll never forget that. They're great trees. Grady's study starts tomorrow night, the Advent study, that was Uncle Fester up here. And you know, you heard about the sign up sheet. Um, you have the opportunity to have Uncle Fester lead you in an Advent study. <laughs> Take advantage of that. Pat Youngquist, are you here today? Stand up, please. Pat Youngquist, the United Methodist minister who helps us here at the church often, has just been named the Executive Director of Union Mission. Will you give her a hand? If you're not familiar with Union Mission, this is our incredible homeless ministry here in Savannah. And by the way, there's going to be a prayer breakfast this Tuesday at 7 o'clock. It's going to be where, Pat? Savannah Tech. And uh, feel free to come if you want to reserve. Pat will make sure there's enough breakfast for you. Just let her know. I have some more exciting news. Rabbi Robert Haas, a good friend of ours who preaches for me sometimes during the summer, he and his wife, April, became parents this week. A little girl, a little girl named Amira, I know you would want to know about that since Robert considers Asbury his satellite synagogue. <laughs> Also more exciting news, Dale and Pam Caracostas are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. We would sing to them, but they are off celebrating somewhere. They're not in Savannah. And, uh, but hopefully, maybe they'll be here next week and we'll sing for them then. But we too have two great celebrations to, to, to celebrate today. L.A. Lanier in the back, L.A. stand up on Friday, L.A. Uh, who was one of my former football coaches, celebrated his 84th birthday. He's an amazing fella. Stay up, L.A. Claire Knight, also her husband. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Yesterday, yesterday was Claire's 88th birthday. Wow. Let's say happy birthday to her. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh. 